kind of give everybody a tour of my studio. Um, it's upstairs in my house now instead of in the basement. My first thing when you come up, because I like absurd things, and my girlfriend sent me this, is my, um, my sign that indicates that I'm in there, although it's always there. So it is, as you can see, colorful. I picked up this carpet from Wayfair. I really like it. It looks like crayons are everywhere. It makes me very happy. Um, I'm going to try not to spin too fast. But as you come to the door on the left, I have behind it a bookshelf that just fit perfectly behind my door. Um, and I found a CD player to use with my collection of CDs left over from college, like my, my signed Jesus Jones CDs. Um, this space is really just to contain the mess while I move all my stuff up here, which is gonna be a while longer. I have my, my bin of Island Batiste scraps, my old Roomba who gets to work up here now, a great um, cart for my AccuQuilt thing. I got, this is from Wayfair too. That's where I get all my furniture because they just, you know, the guy brings it to my garage and that's great. Um, but it, it's almost like it was designed for AccuQuilt. It, it has spaces for everything. And then my system is out so I can use, I can use it all the time. Um, I'm a messy person, so there's always piles. I try to keep it organized, but it's not, not natural to me. Um, this is my color swatch wall that I've been using. It's part of the Quilter's Field Guide to Color. And there, something a little crooked and it bothers me. Um, but I pull those down and play with them to come up with different combinations and to learn about how colors work together. There's Jojo the monkey from Mary Englebright. He's been hanging around with me for a while. Uh, this is my, my work desk um, where I do my computer stuff and paint and make messes. I've been collecting color wheels now since I've been learning about color and <laughs> the color wheel is probably my favorite part of the whole thing. Um, hand sewing station with a tiny fireplace for my dog who's abandoned me today because he's a bit of a jerk some days. Uh, his bed and his Kawandi quilt. I have a little table here for whatever I'm working on. My sewing desk uh, with my wall of mini quilts. I think I might have a few more that I haven't uncovered yet. Um, my reliable iron on a cart. Uh, my thread chest is gonna get mounted on the wall. That was a gift from my mom so that I can have all the colors. And as you can see, I use it. So it's probably time to place a reorder. Um, an old dresser, which I have one of these, I have this awesome wool ironing mat. It's my favorite thing ever. And if you decide to do this, yes, it does destroy the top of your dresser. So make sure it's a dresser you don't love anymore. Um, here's my cutting table and a bin underneath for scraps. It'll be recycled into something, uh, probably stuffing for pin cushions or something. My collection of Aurifil thread, the rack was broken, so I had to fix it. It's in the garage. Um, old filing cabinet. So the, the desk that I have it comes had was a set from way back and it had filing cabinets. So now I have all the important papers from the house in my studio, but they're tucked away in a corner here, no problem. Uh, my son's college mini fridge, which I've accosted as a, or not accosted, whatever, that I've taken up as a seltzer storage facility. My design wall, which is pathetic and needs to be hung up correctly. And then this is one of the more exciting parts behind this door is the second part of the room, which is unfinished right now. So today it's chilly outside, so it's freezing in here. I've got a contractor who's gonna finish it for me. Um, but this is where my long arm is gonna go and the Christmas, to <laughs> the Christmas tree and all of the televisions are gonna have to go down in the basement. The rowing machine actually will probably stay. Um, but this is where the long arm and fabric and my library of quilting books are going to live, along with probably a couple other sewing machines. Like I think my mom's serger and embroidery machine will go in here too. But that's it. That's my new studio space, and I'm so, so happy with it. Um, it's just a comfy, cozy space. And I have a view. I mean, there's a window, and I can see outside, which is 
the best. I have trees in my yard and the big rocks in my driveway and my neighbor's house, which, you know, cool, it's fine. I don't pay too much attention to what they're doing. And then they have a willow tree, which I do like to watch. It's been interesting to watch it change over the, the springtime. So I hope you get to set up a sewing room in your home too. This is my happiest space. Bye.